Hello! Welcome to the third module which I'll be talking about materials. Do you know that other than coloring the model, we can design the texture to be glossy, matte, and make it look beautiful when the light hits? If you understand how it works and how to manage the settings, you can design a variety of textures. And if you want to design it realistically, it's easier to do. In this lesson, we'll be talking about the very important two settings which are roughness and metallic. These two are very important because they allow us to adjust the matte, gloss, and metallic look which are very important keys in designing textures. The roughness and metallic will be in two places. The first place is in the layer. You'll notice that each part of the model has its own layer. When we click on the materials icon, you'll see the roughness and metallic windows here. Another place is the brush studio. When we choose a brush, any brush, choose the material tab here. You'll see the roughness and metallic settings here. For the brush, I'll explain in detail in the coming lesson. Now, let's get back to the layers. Let's look at roughness and metallic. I'll choose this part of the vase. Look at these two features. Roughness and metallic will only show in black and white. For the roughness, the whitest will make the texture the most matte and the blackest will make the texture the glossiest. However, it's the opposite for the metallic. The blackest means it won't appear metallic at all and the whitest will make it the most metallic. It's not difficult to use as well. Let's say that I want this vase to be glossy. I'll go to roughness. Now it's set to light gray, almost white, which means it's pretty matte. I want to make it glossy, so I'll choose dark gray. Then fill the color in by dragging the color to the vase. You'll notice that it looks glossy now. You can see it from the light. It may not be obvious just yet, so I'll change the color here to be a different color. Change it to pink. Fill the color in. You'll notice that you can see the glossiness of the texture clearer. Let's adjust the roughness to the blackest and see how it looks. Choose the blackest color and fill the vase in with the color. Now it's the glossiest it can be. You'll notice that it reflects the environment a little because it's very glossy. Let's take a look at the metallic. Now the metallic is set to the blackest, which means there's no metallicity at all. If I want it to have metallicity, I have to go to the metallic. Then choose the light gray color. Fill it in. You'll notice that there's metallicity now. It'll reflect the environment. It's like a mirror that gives a clearer reflection of the environment. What if we adjust it to the widest? The widest means the most metallicity. Okay, it looks like a mirror now. This is the most metallic it can be. 
I still have another technique for adjusting the settings. Let's say that I want to reduce the metallic setting, but I don't know how much I should adjust. I'll just go to the adjustments and to hue, saturation, brightness. I'll adjust the brightness from here. See? For the metallic, the blacker it is, the less metallicity you'll get. The wider, the more metallicity. You can adjust it left and right from here. For the roughness, you can adjust it from the brightness as well. Try choosing the roughness and go to Hue, Saturation and Brightness. Try adjusting it. You can adjust the matte and gloss immediately. With this method, you'll see the picture straight away without having to estimate the amount of color to adjust. Okay. See, it's very easy adjusting the roughness and the metallic. Just don't forget which color gives the matte, gloss and metallicity for each setting. I'll conclude it for you. For the roughness, the whitest color gives the most matte finish and the blackest color gives the glossiest finish. For the metallic, it's the opposite. The black is means there's no metallicity and the white is has the most metallicity. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like or leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. As a thank you, loyal subscribers receive a 10% discount on my 3D painting in Procreate Mastery. Check the description for coupon code. See you in the next video.